What's up YouTube family? It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm and today I wanted to offer you guys something. I showed you here a while back making soap and lotion from all natural, a lot of organic ingredients and how you can make uh, really good healthy skincare at home and to nourish your skin. But in response to that video, I've had several requests from you guys of if you could purchase some. So I am offering that to y'all today. I wanna to kinda of go through and tell you what I have. I have limited quantities on everything, so when they're gone, they'll just be gone for a while. I probably won't make any more until um, probably around February. And so when these are gone, they will be gone till then. But I've tried this time that I made soap and lotion to use all natural ingredients. Most of the scents, almost all of the scents except for one, is essential oils only. So not only will they make you smell good, but they're great for your skin as well. So as you know, we have teenagers in our house and I have tried to use essential oils that will nourish skin uh, problem areas and things like that. Because you know, when you're a teenager, your skin can get pretty out of control for a few years there. And so a lot of these soaps are made with that in mind and lotions um, to nourish your skin, heal it if you have any inflamed areas and that sort of thing. So. Um, my favorite essential oil company is Young Living, and there's a link to them down below. I don't sell their products, I just simply like to use them. So I like to mention them to people because they're, they're my favorite company. They're in control of the oil. Their saying is from the seed to the seal, and that is, that's true. That's because they grow, um, either they grow it or they have partner farms that grow what they harvest and then produce their oils from. So I love, love, love essential oils, but up to this point, I had used some fragrance oils in my soaps and lotions because if you start looking into making your own things, there's only certain oils that are safe to like just apply directly to your skin that won't make you possibly get a sunburn or things like that. But it's interesting to think about, we rub all these fragrances on us every single day from soaps to lotions to deodorants to shampoo to all these things. We rub all these chemical fragrances on us that then um, disrupt our hormones and things like that. So that is what got me into soap and lotion. It's just trying to take better care of our family. And as you know, as part of our story is, uh, has been Ben's eczema. So I started trying to do all natural things to help him with that and quickly you can get carried away even making your own thinking oh I want all these fancy fragrances and this and that just because you can get carried away with that just like anything else and lose the sight of what you started it for. So I have gone back to my original vision for making our skincare products was to make them healthy and nourishing in everything that we put on as well as in our bodies. And so that's how this was born. That's how I um, did it this fall and that's how I plan to continue doing it. So the things I offer may not be as fancy um, named as some that you could go buy at like Walmart, but they smell wonderful nonetheless. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I have and then here's how this is gonna work. Um, I'm gonna have a PayPal link down in the description once you PayPal and you pay for your purchase, I'm gonna send it out to you ASAP. Um, as soon as I start getting orders in, I actually have already been to the post office because I've never done this before. I don't have a store or a website or anything like that. I'm just making things here in our home and selling the extra. Um, from this point, um, up to this point, I guess you would say, people have just come to our house and purchased from us. We would set a set time and have like what we call a farm day and people would come by. Um, that's all we've done up to this point is just word of mouth. So I'm gonna see how this goes and offering it to you guys. I went to the post office and talked to them. These will be available for the lower 48 states. I'm afraid it would just be too expensive uh, to offer it otherwise. And these are the packages they're gonna go in. It's gonna be $8 flat rate shipping. I can ship you um, as much or as little as you want in this package for $8. We can fill this thing up and it'll still just be $8. So shipping is $8 for every order. Um, that was the way they suggested was the best and cheapest way on you guys for me to do that. Um, so anyway, let's get started. 
These are three and a half ounce bars of soap. I'm gonna take them out of these bags. And you're also getting this cute bag, which um, can be used like a wash rag. So you can leave your soap in this bag and just lather it up and use it that way if you want. It's a thin bag. It should last even beyond the life of this bar. Um, I don't know how long. This is my first time using these. I ordered these because I thought they were neat and I wanted to use them for our family. So you're gonna be getting every bar of soap is in this cotton bag. And it's, it's a natural neutral color. There's no coloring to it. It's just a neutral color. All of these are three and a half ounce bars of soap. They're either gonna say handmade or goat's milk because that is what my molds say. But, disclaimer on these, these are made from rich, creamy cow's milk. It works just the same in my soap recipes and it nourishes our skin just the same. Um, but it's easier on our family skin because Emily is really highly allergic to goat's milk. So I pretty much made these organic. They are not labeled organic because I'm not certified organic. That's a lot of money and process, governmental processes and stuff that I'm not going to mess with now or probably ever. Um, but I try to do things organically. I do believe in that. I just don't want to pay for a label. Um, but these are made with organic olive oil, organic coconut oil, and then lard that I harvested from our pigs, which we raise as all natural as possible, free from medicines and hormones and all those kinds of things. Their fat is very healthy, full of vitamin D. So those are the three oils in this. And then just water and lye and the milk. That's all that's in here, along with whatever essential oil gives it its scent. So this one is Neroli. Um, this one is actually made with neroli fragrance oil. So this is the only one that's not an essential oil per se, but it's still a high quality oil from Brambleberry. I mean, it smells, smells really, really good. Neroli oil, you can look it up and read about it. It's a really complex scent. It has a really um, cologne-ish, musky type scent to it. It's really nice, um, just a really nice smell. Most people that have bought from me in the past love this smell. So that's the first one, Neroli. I'm gonna give you the soap scents first and then we'll move on to the lotion. And I'm gonna show you each one too because some of them are lighter and darker than others. This next one is tea tree and rosemary. Now tea tree oil is great for skin, especially if you are prone to acne um, anywhere on your body, on your face or on your back or anywhere. Tea tree is just great for it. And this has a really good clean smell. It's a nice light colored bar. So there's that one. I really like this next one. It turned out to be a dark, chocolatey looking bar, but I called it Walk in the Woods. It's a blend of essential oils, woodsy type oils, cedar wood and fir and some of those. It smells really nice. This is a good neutral one. It could be for a man or a woman. It's definitely not masculine smelling. It just has a good outdoorsy smell like fresh air. This next one might be my favorite for the winter especially. It came out to these cool looking bars. Um, they're kind of marbly looking and it's spiced cider. It has like a cinnamony orange smell, but it's not too strong, but it will definitely smell really nice when you're taking a bath with this. It's really hard to pick a favorite because I really love this one too. I've been using this myself in the lotion. This is lavender patchouli, and it has a really nice smell too. It smells like a nice subtle, um, but just um, really good smelling like a light perfume. And I love the smell of lavender, and lavender is super good for your skin. And again, these are real essential oils, so you're getting the benefits of the oils just every time you take a bath. And last but not least on the soaps is rosemary vanilla. I also love rosemary. It's really good like if you have any kind of um, joint pain or anything like that. Rosemary is a good one to rub on your skin. So I thought, why not try it in a soap? So this is rosemary vanilla. The vanilla kind of counteracts and softens up the rosemary smell, but this just smells really good, kind of spice and herbish. Um, I just really love this one. And I like the color that the bar came out too. Okay, so let's move on to the lotions and then we will get to the price and how you can order. Okay, so I've got Neroli lotion and these are eight ounce bottles of lotion and um, they've got the pump on top. I tried the caps for a while where you just shake it and squeeze it into your hand. 
uh, those were kind of a pain so these pump right out really well and it should clean the bottle out really well too without having to shake the bottle down so I put a little more into these than I have in the past as far as money goes um, to get a good bottle and a good pump on top I've got the Neroli, I've got Rosemary Eucalyptus. This is a good one to rub on, especially if you have, like I mentioned with the soap, if you have pain and things. Um, I really like this one. Eucalyptus is really good to breathe in for respiratory issues, and it just smells good. All right, I have Lavender Patchouli. This has a really nice smell. I wear these instead of perfumes. I can't do perfumes. They mess with my throat. They make my throat feel funny, and they usually give me a headache. So this Lavender Patchouli, I've got Vanilla Patchouli, and then I've got Lavender Vanilla. I like any of these three. They're really good for a light perfume. You don't smell overpowering, but you definitely smell good. And then I've got Tea Tree Rosemary. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I have been putting this lotion on my face, like directly on my face every night for the past several years. Um, ever since I started making it, I quit buying like um, Olive Olay or any of that for like anti-aging. This is all I use and it has been so good for my skin. Um, it's just, and I've gotten several like compliments and I don't say that to brag or anything but I every time someone says wow you look so young to have these two teenagers or they ask me and Emily if we're sisters and she gets so she's like oh no she's my mom but every time they ask me I start thinking of this lotion I think I think that lotion helps it just keeps my skin um, bright and it helps fight wrinkles uh, it's just done wonders for my face I put it directly on my face every single night after a bath and so this is a good one for putting on your face, tea tree and rosemary. It's really good for any skin blemishes or anything like that that you might have. And then finally, I've got walk in the woods also in the lotion. And I really like this one. It's a complex smell, but it just smells so fresh and just, it just smells like you're walking in the woods to me. So that is what I have to offer you guys and what I have for sale. These uh, are big bars of soap and they've been cured for several, several weeks. So they should be good to go as soon as you receive them. They're gonna be $5 a piece, but just for you guys, if you order five bars, I'm gonna give you five for 20. So that, that would give you a little bit of a discount. And then the lotion bottles are eight ounces and they're $8 a piece. So how can you order? First thing is shoot me an email at vwff at yahoo.com and that's always down in our description. Tell me what you want, tell me the scents that you want and um, how many of each thing that you want and um, I will then respond to you with a PayPal link and you can pay on there and just be sure on the comment on PayPal, I think you can leave a comment with your payment, put your name because sometimes your PayPal link shows up as something like, I'm not sure if it's your email address or what, but we've had some trouble with Emily's uh, PayPal matching who's PayPaling to whose email and just making sure that we get you what you order. So just make sure your email and your PayPal, all of that all says your name so we can match it up with you. And definitely in your email, leave me your address so I can get it in the mail to you. And like I mentioned, shipping is a flat rate, $8. Um, so we will just add that onto your order. And when you send me what you'd like to order, when I send that link back, I'll send a total back that you need to PayPal. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you're not interested, that's totally fine. I just wanted to offer this to those who are. So that's it. Thanks y'all for watching and I appreciate all your support of our channel, um, all your kind comments, just everything you do for us. We're so appreciative of you. Thank you for the gifts we received last week in our uh, PO box. That was such a nice surprise uh, to get something from our Amazon wish list. We, we do not expect anyone to send us anything and it's just such a surprise and such a it just makes you feel good uh, to go up there and then something's in there. That's so awesome. So you know who you are and we appreciate you and we say thank you. And thank you for all the Christmas cards. That is such, I love seeing your pictures and the names of your homesteads and just hearing your stories. It always just brightens our day. It's fun. Even the kids get really excited to go up there and when there's Christmas cards up there. So thank you. We hope that you're leading up to having a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.